On today's episode of Watch JR Go, we are here in Massachusetts, Massachusetts with Uncle Rich and as you guys can see, his Hellcat. Now, today, we're gonna go tune this thing and hopefully have a little bit of fun with it. What is going on guys? I am Watch JR Go and today, like I said, I'm here with Rich Rebuilds this Hellcat, and I love Hellcats, and everybody that ever gets in one loves them, because it turns out it's like the most fun vehicle you'll probably ever drive. It has the screaming noise from the supercharger, tire shredding 700 horsepower, and this one is about to make way more power. This thing looks super angry, it sounds amazing. Listen to that thing run. And today we're gonna tune it. So he installed the Diablo Sport, but it's still running on a bit of a base tune. So we have the tuner's contact info. We're gonna call him, figure out what needs to change. Basically, we're just gonna sort this thing out so he can actually drive it. You don't wanna run around on a base tune with mods. Um, you know, you can run into issues. You might lean out. It might be running too fat. You're just blowing through fuel for no reason. There's a lot of issues that could happen when you're running a modded car with no tune. So we got the Diablo Sport, we got a Hellcat. It's out of gas. So first of all, straight to the gas station. We'll put some 93 in it, fresh fuel too. And uh, hopefully, it'll be time to party. You know, that's what you do when you have a Mopar, I guess. You go to Moparty. Let's go have some fun. Now, I know Rich said he didn't love the peanut butter interior. Yes, it doesn't work with the matte army green outside, but I love this interior. It just looks like a nice, warm place to be. So uh, you can have a screaming muscle car outside, but inside, it's uh, ready for the golf course. Of course, the Hellcat seats are super nice as well. Very bolstered, heated, cooled. I mean, this thing has every option there is. It's uh, basically ready to rock and roll just out of gas. And uh, we got the Diablo Sport here, which actually looks really cool. I'm a big fan of how nice the screen looks on this thing. Look at that, it's so crispy. There's the tack, throttle blade position, engine load. Fuel level is seven. It was at 15 a minute ago. Did it really burn through that much fuel sitting here for like a minute? If that's the case, we better get to the gas station pretty quick. Now here's some scenery you don't get to see on my channel. Water. There's no water within nine hours of us. I'm pretty sure this is common sense, but if you're going out to tune your car, make sure it's roughly full of gas. Anything under 50%, you're kind of playing with fire because if the pump starves, while you're tuning and something's wrong, things get worse really quick. So we are here at Gulf to throw some 93 in this. Another thing I don't have in Kansas, it's pretty crazy being out here on the uh, other side of the country. You got water, you got 93 octane, which obviously we don't need in Kansas, but it's cool that we've got it here. And you've got apparently matte green Hellcats. So let's fill this thing up and get back over to Rich's. This place has statues everywhere. I'm not sure what the statues per capita is, but it must be three times what it is in Wichita. Just <laughs> everywhere I look, another statue. We're driving the Hellcat around 30 mile an hour, just kind of idling through the corners here. But listen to the supercharger on this one. Normal Hellcats have a bit of a, a scream to them, but this one has a low growl. <laughs> it sounds so good. Knocking things right off our checklist here. We got fuel, the car is warmed up. We are ready to go do a little bit of tuning and hopefully get all of his drivability sorted out here. <laughs> I just gave it a little bump at like 70% throttle. Like, what a great car. And these things are extremely affordable for a 700 horsepower car. I, I don't know what Rich paid for this, but I have a feeling, I think he said it in a video that it was like 37. Unbelievable that you can get what used to be, you know, the power level of dragsters for almost nothing in a Hellcat. If you're looking for performance for dollar, there's basically nothing on the planet that beats one of these. And it's got five seats in it. You can haul the whole family around. So actually tuning on the Diablo Sport looks like it's gonna be pretty easy here. I think we're gonna go to, uh, so we have, custom tuning done already. Let's go into, this thing only has a few pages to mess with, which seems super great to work on. Oh man, you can change wallpapers and layouts. This is a really cool little tuner. As you guys can see, much tuning was done. Okay, none, it's just dark outside now. But the remote start 
Still works with the check engine light on. How cool is that? Ah, oh, ah, oh, check engine light, got it. Well, that's unfortunate. Remote start disabled, start vehicle to reset. Well, the Hellcat is back inside because it turns out there was no tuning to be done. Thanks, no. Rich. Basically, yeah, well, um, just to take over real quick, it <laughs> needed some data logging done. Uh -huh. And data logging is a tedious, AKA a very boring process. Right. So I was hoping you would do that. But we were missing actually quite a bit of the information we needed to grab that log for the tuner. Mm -hmm. So I reached out to the tuner, we haven't heard back, and it's uh, currently 1017. Yep. So I think that's not gonna happen today. It's Probably more of a not. tomorrow. I'll... I would stay if you're if you're gonna stay in three days or so. We'll get it done. That'd be nice. Yeah, you'll okay. get it done. Well, I'm not. So we're actually not gonna get Rich's Hellcat tuned today, but we tried. We tried. We we gave it our best. Instead, what we're gonna do today is some uh, appearance tuning, some modifications. Yeah, to it. yeah. modifications. This is a big one. You yeah, ready yeah. for this? Yeah. I, I'm super excited to see what this does to your car. It's gonna change it completely. So as you guys know, you know it's wrapped matte green. It makes it's it's got a lot of you know visual impact and this one change. This one change. <laughs> What's the? Oh, that's it right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's going to change the whole car. I can see, change the whole car. I can see how that would be tuning. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So we're getting this badge all built. Important tuning things here. Um, it's held on by like screw studs and then it has some big wings and you tighten out some nuts and it's done. Mm -hmm. And that's. Did you say wings? Wings. And it wings. Yeah, wings. I thought it was like a you know, like a chicken. Yeah. Thing. I, I mean that. Yeah, could be. I thought it was a Kansas thing. <laughs> so this does not. It's not going so well for you. Is it's it? not going very well at all, actually. No, we gotta do some modifications. To that it seems, seems like, like we're gonna have to drill out maybe that hole there. Mm -hmm. You know, what? I'm not even loving where it lays, but it's probably gonna work. Do you want to take off the? Um, the studs and lay it over to see how, how it's going to well, look. Well, no, right? I loctited those in already, obviously. Okay, so you, yeah. you made a, a permanent thing. Yeah, okay. I made an executive decision, if okay. you will. Now you got to commit. Yeah, so we'll just punch that out with, it looks like a quarter inch. I mean, these are quarter 20, so yeah, yeah, a quarter inch. And then uh, I think this one goes kind of back here and it's done. Okay. And if not, like, it's not my car. It doesn't even <laughs> so, matter at this point. Yeah. You could just hop off in the other car and then drive off pretty much. That's kind of my plan. Yeah, all right, that sounds good. Get in there, man. I'm trading the free labor here for, I don't know. For what? I'm yeah, not, I'm yeah. not, I don't know. If you left it hot and you put it in there, it would melt to the plastic. Um, okay, so now that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you could just, yeah, that's, that's actually not that bad. Okay. Yeah, I like it. And you were thinking super glue, right? Just behind the. Yeah, if, yeah. You, if you have any to spare, just <laughs> okay. put some super glue back there. Cool. Just call it a day. Yeah, yeah. Look, I tried, I offered to use my arm because we didn't want to take the car apart and you can just stick your arm in here and go all the way up to the grill. And John said- Yeah, I'm stubborn. He said, no. So- oh, No, I'll do it. I drilled the holes and uh, we Loctited the bolts in there. That's and pretty not bad. Yeah, pretty not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. Yeah. So now it matches the beautiful XK Glow eyes. Mm -hmm. Ready to rock and roll. Actually, oh, don't forget. Hold on. Okay. What do we need to see here? It matches the funnels? All the other stuff. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. Are you gonna put these back on the no, car? No, you're supposed to put those on. Oh. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll put those on tomorrow. All right, sounds good, man. Cool. Look at that, that's that's exactly how, that's exactly how they go on, right? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Listen, it's late at night. It is late at night. That is for sure. Dude, why the hell? These, these don't go on at all, what a pain. All it right. looks like you gotta take the engine oil fill off. Right? You gotta do all kinds of stuff here. Oh, hold on, I got... This one, kind of. Oh, got that one on. Yep, I think that one's on too. Yeah. Seems legit. That'll work. All right, tuning complete. This Hellcat is ready to rock and roll. You guys can see. Uh, we've definitely picked up another 20, 30 horsepower based on the look of the of the red. Minimum. 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 So, yeah. And the, uh, the the Hemi plastics. Yeah, the Hemi plastics. All right, we we are good to go. One job complete. 
Well, now that we've finished tuning your Hellcat. Thank you very much. I appreciate yeah, that. I know nice. it was a lot of work. You're welcome. Um, but I'm glad you were the guy to do it. Uh, I was going to send it you. Like, there was like a money thing mm -hmm. for the BMW. I figured yeah, yeah. we'll just call it good. Well, I mean, I don't know how that would be good, but we could be offline. We could talk about okay, that. Okay, cool. That's no yeah, that's a great yeah, plan. Cool. Anyway, we're here in Rich Rebuilds' this shop mm -hmm. to take a quick tour and talk about this. I know you guys loved seeing, well, my shop tours, I guess, because that was kind of every day. Yeah. So here we are going to talk about Rich's shop. Right. Thank which, you. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, a, very, cool it's a very humble shop. It's not very large. Oh. Uh, this is about, what, 25 or 2,700 square feet or so. Is this some kind of joke about, uh, like a compensating joke? Is that what you're... No, it, I mean, it's people, oh. people see a bunch of garages uh, on YouTube and they might not realize just how big or small things are. This is like a... What's so funny? Why no, do you keep no, laughing? No, this yeah, is like... Yeah, you just this keep, like, keep going. I, 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 I see what you're si doing. They're making size jokes in his head. This is about 25 to... So 25 to 2,700 square feet. Uh, so just united there on size and stuff. And uh, this is really what we have here. We have two standard Ben pack lifts. Uh, the standard one's on the left. Uh, the wide one is on the right. Right. And then we have the Ben pack triple stacker. And he's also really, really trying to sell this, really trying to sell the humble. But these are, of course, the extended Ben pack uh, XPR 10 uh, yeah, symmetricals. You. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, Right here behind you is the Hellcat, the infamous Hellcat yeah. uh, that uh, your boy John Ross was working on. Yep. He installed this for me. Uh -huh. This looks very nice. Yeah, I also nice. I did the tuning. It's about three degrees off on the left, but <laughs> no big deal. I barely noticed it. Uh, <laughs> but uh, over here we have, uh, let's see, we have the, the, the Japanese bumper car that I picked up a long time ago. Uh -huh. uh, oh my gosh, we have Amelia Hartford's uh, Everyone's favorite K, engine. K engine. Yep. Everyone's, well, real favorite engine, I guess. And then second favorite engine. The real favorite engine is this one right here. Honestly. Absolutely. This one is a, it's a fully built um, Whipple supercharged uh, LS7. Makes about a thousand horsepower or so. I'm, I'm glad you're also a man of culture. A, a man of culture. Yeah. And uh, also a built uh, transmission as well. Um, that's really all there is here. I have the toolbox and the tools. Yeah, I guess. The couch. These are couches from my actual home. Okay. Um, yeah. It's not really much. These are just my living room couches, actually the kids' room couches. And uh, this is the 69 Mini Cooper we're working on. Yeah. And then we're kind of going into this with the assumption that all of you watch Rich's channel. Yeah, I, don't I, even, I would assume. It's really not. You're not so, missing much. I, I, I would rather, assume that everyone honestly. knows all the cars. But this is his Mini that they are working away on. Now, this Mini Cooper, I think I introduced this car like, I made one video on it like three years A ago. A long time ago. And it actually killed it people love this video this car these are great to drive honestly i've heard i've heard i've heard great things i only drove mine for a little bit before i put it away this car used to be on top of that shelf where all the engines are yeah and it was sitting there just for years so um one day i decided you know what maybe we should do a mini cooper restoration video and i think almost immediately i regret that because <laughs> The car looked really nice before. It did, it did. But then we started picking away at things and we realized that the body is in less than still a shape. Yes. It was about what, maybe like a half inch, a half inch a Bondo on this panel. They didn't even bother pulling the dents out, they just slathered Bondo everywhere. So it's it's not really that great. But So this is going to be a, a frame off restoration, oh sorry, not frame off, but a ground up restoration. Uh, we're shipping the whole thing down, it's getting sandblasted this weekend. Uh, it's getting new wheels, tires, suspension. Uh, brand new and custom interior, custom paint job. It's getting a new engine, probably built, uh, and a turbo kit. For it. Everything, the everything, whole, the whole nine. And yeah. if you if you if you want to take handfuls of money and throw it in a volcano, buy a Mini Cooper and restore it. <laughs> Near like Porsche 911 like numbers for, sure. for stuff. Like yeah. because I mean the parts are old, uh, they're not as common. But uh, it's um, hopefully it should be really fun when it's when it's all finished. And speaking of. Porsche 911s. You've got one of my favorites over here, the 991.1. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I couldn't afford the 991.2. Yeah. That's an additional no. fifty thousand dollars. I actually can't even afford the turbo. Every time I say I'm going to buy one, I just don't because I, I don't want to afford this. Yeah. Well, well, this is on consignment, so I have. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah, you got to spend. Yeah. You know, that I makes gotta, sense. I got to manage money a little better. So uh, no, <laughs> this is um, this is probably, well, I think my top favorite car to drive yeah my favorite car to own is uh, my c6 z06 up there yep um, but as you could tell I like the color blue I don't know if you know this or not yeah. but all of my cars that I consider as like premium cars that I really like are blue in color so 991.1 uh, stock minus uh, it's been lowered uh, yeah. GT3 side skirts oh yeah that's about it uh-huh I really haven't had much of this thing at all I the warranty was just up 
maybe like two months ago. Ah. So I figured I'd keep it stockish and now I could start modding stuff. The most I'd probably go with this car is an exhaust and a tune, honestly, because these cars get pretty ragged pretty soon if you're not careful. I mean, yeah. you could go with like, you know, built motors and I don't want to talk about any companies that have performance mods for them, but. Yeah, I, then you'll I, be buying a new engine every buy a new year engine. Yeah, so I, with I need, 1,000 horsepower. I, yeah, I need, I need upgraded clutches, da, da, da. I think this car runs and drives really, really smoothly. Everyone hates the interior. I love the interior. It looks great. The interior looks amazing. Yeah, look at that. You can't really see look it that, that much. Oh, but yeah, that's all the plaid. Ah, it looks great. And people are saying, "Oh, it's like a, it's like a rental car." It's probably some kind of Tesla plaid joke that we just don't understand. Yet. Right? Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like a, the plaid is more of a nod and a tribute to like the old school Porsches. Uh, a lot of them had houndstooth interiors. Uh, but if you've never owned a classic Porsche, you wouldn't understand. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I see you also, some, for some reason, this TV has no cracks in it. Yeah, this TV has a really long story. And yeah. by long, I mean a very short story. Yeah. So I bought the a TV uh, at Target and I kept it in the box for like three months. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, no big deal. When I open the box and put it on the wall, it should be fine, right? I was wrong. So it was actually past the uh, return uh, policy period. Apparently, so, it was just past its TV expiration date. It, clearly, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I didn't realize that Target sold broken TVs, but it was cracks. So when I went back there, they said, well, you've had this TV for too long. Unfortunately, we can't take it back. And then basically, I just kind of said, okay, wow, I would hate for my one million subscribers to hear about this incident. And then, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, it was oh, fixed. All, oh, of no. sudden, all of a sudden, it was fixed, and they gave me like $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that how it works? Yeah, it's just, wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Um, so that's the C6 Z06. That's, yeah. uh, I would say, my pride and joy. Yeah, they're, they're uh, classic that's, car. That's probably one of the cars that if things start going really, really wrong, if that car gets sold, then things are really, really bad. You can live in it. I, I hear that yeah, you the just, seats recline really far in a Z06. You very well. Yeah, <laughs> you'll be fine. Yeah, you very well could live in it. Yeah. Uh, I guess, hey, listen, you can't race a house, right? You can't race a house. Race a car. You can always race a car. So that would, that, this, is, this will probably be with me until, until I'm pretty old. Uh, Porsche, one of my favorite cars to drive. Yep. I don't really know. It's, yeah. it's, it's cool. It might not last forever, but it's fun while it's here. Uh, this is, uh, Z3, Z3. The Roadster. Uh, this one's a little fun because it has a little bit of a power increase in it. Yeah. In the form of, you want to go check it out? Yeah, extra out cylinders out here. Right. First, I wanted to comment just yeah. to make sure you're aware your uh, brake rotors, they've got a lot of cracks in them. I just want to, yeah, I just want to make sure you much. know that it's, you a, it's, it's, a, it's a carbon ceramic. You wouldn't understand. I, I, I get it. Um, I love making people angry with that. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. <laughs> you, you, you couldn't afford them. <laughs> Look at this. You, this can, is what it's like working in Rich's shop. Can you, can you get past that? Yeah, of course oh, I can get past that. Look at that. Oh, it must be nice. Yeah. Look at you all young and nimble. Why don't you get a little shorter? Um, <laughs> so this is, this is the, uh, this is um, the cyber size, we call it. Cyber its nickname cyber. is Smokey. Yep. This is the one that we brought to SEMA that put on a little smoke show for people. Yeah, people yeah. loved it. People, Especially, oh yeah, Jalopy, uh, Jalopy Jeff. Jalopy Jeff, yeah. What he, a guy, really, what a guy. He, he really enjoyed seeing yeah. this thing. Uh, so no, this, um, this was a real, you know what's weird? Let's, let's get personal for a second. Let's get personal, shall we? This was a really interesting build because it was super expensive. Oh, it's super nice. Super expensive. Guys, uh, check this out. I don't know if you know this, but uh, oh, yeah, if yeah. you open it. Oh, yeah. oh, you got it on my Yeah. It has working hood struts, something that you get to see on my channel after I buy the cars. It's right. super impressive. Super right, impressive. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So that, that's cool. So, so, uh, so that's pretty cool. These, these do work. Um, but no, this is probably one of, this was a pretty fun project to do for sure. It has a, uh, you probably can't see it too well, but it has three of this. Look at how dusty this is. It's pretty dusty. That's just dust. Look at this. He's got cameras everywhere so you can see everything going on outside. Yeah, this, was, side a, by side. this was a really, really fun build uh, to do. Unfortunately, it was very expensive. Yeah. And it wasn't really all that well received. Yeah. Uh, people. It's a, it's a hard balance being a car channel and going from doing mostly car stuff to doing, you know, side-by-side -side UTV type things. Uh, but it was fun to make it. It's just unfortunate that the reception wasn't, uh, you know, that well received. So that's yeah, I mean, it was clearly it was one of the greatest things at SEMA, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, it, it, I, I love this thing. There's nothing cool. Thank you. So, I appreciate that, yeah, man. Love Thank you. Stuff. Thank you very much. Yeah. Uh, it could be yours too. You could just cool. take it home with the IA. Yeah, we'll want. talk. We'll talk. Uh, we'll talk offline. We'll know? talk. We'll talk numbers. Hey, remember, I installed the SRT badge, so we're pretty even. That's very true. Actually, <laughs> just just take it. Put on top of the IA and take it. <laughs> um, this is the uh, this. Oh, you probably can't show this car, can you? What? It, the, the Z3. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So that my. This is the Z3. Z3. Yeah. You could. 
later on we'll show you what it has in store for it. Yeah, I don't uh, want to spoil the. You don't want to see the fact spoil. that it um, is is a four cylinder. Right. Yeah. Standard yeah. four cylinder. Yeah. Nothing. Simple to see four there. cylinder. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's the Z3. This is the uh, the Z06. This is a uh, fully built. Ah, forged, balanced, blueprinted, everything, new pistons, rods, crank, uh, short block. Uh, it's all naturally aspirated. Makes about 650 to the tire. It just looks right with the with the forge lines and the drag radials, you know. It's just a yeah. what a look. It's just it's a great looking what car. Look. Unfortunately over the years I haven't really had much time to maintain it. Yeah. I mean, you know, the front wheels, tires are dry rotted, it needs new brakes, it just needs everything. The cool thing about LS engines mm -hmm. is if you just leave it up there for another seven years, it's still gonna start. Like it's no problem at all. No problem it's at no, all. No, no issue. You, you do nothing to it. Absolutely. You make sure the battery's charged and it fire, and then you can drive it a thousand miles cross country. Yep. Um, Luckily, the battery in C6s is always dead for some reason. Always dead. You notice that? Yeah. I think there's like some phantom drain going yeah. on. There must be or something in all of them. Yeah, yeah, you got a Honda. Is, is that, that a Honda B or that's a, Honda? a that's a Honda Fit okay, up cool. there? That's nice. I, I cover it. The thing about Sometimes Rare Japanese cars. you don't want to get dust on them, Yeah. so you want to cover them, Absolutely. Is, is what you really want to do. Yeah. So I have that car covered up there. Nice. It has a few upgrades done to it. It's pretty, it's pretty quick, a little peppy, a little, yeah, little yeah. turbo on Four it. Four-cylinder with turbo. It's not that bad. Yeah, same it's thing a, as the Z4, yeah, basically. Same no thing as the Mini Coupe. Oh, Z3. You know? Yeah, whatever. Yeah. You'll, cool. You'll, you'll get there. Cool, and eventually, <laughs> <get> a little <laughs> slow. <laughs> anyway, you do have the, the Hero right here. This honestly, is your best I, car. I recommend to everyone if... Get a forklift. Do you have to have a forklift? You have to have a forklift. Then we can have wars because I have a Clark, you have a Yale. You made yeah, the wrong choice. Really? But it's okay. As long as you don't have a boozin, we're all good. Did they here. not did they not get along? Are they well, like a it's it's the, the doozins or the boozins that we really don't like. So right. it's kinda we all just kinda like team gang. up you against have like, you have like, yeah. you have like knives yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is uh this has been immensely helpful absolutely like i mean and it, it wasn't expensive it was a couple grand uh it, it's all electric it's easy usually the electric ones and the propane ones are, yeah. are are better off suited for indoor use but this thing is awesome tons of torque i mean easy to maintain it's just batteries and motors man can't beat it yeah really can't beat it great but great gas that, mileage that's yeah. really that's really it you know how like cool. some tours have like like 30 or 40 cars yeah i just don't have that i mean i have another location with more vehicles <laughs> but um we're not there oh, right now. i get it i get so, it yeah yeah. Well, cool, man. Yeah. It's good to actually see your shop. Yeah. And on, on a serious note, after yeah. all of that wasn't serious. Yeah. It's good to see your shop. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate cool. that. Yeah. And also, um, fun fact, all the cars are for sale. Oh, nice. So if anyone is interested in any of the vehicles watching this, this is this. I'm not, this is not a self plug. <laughs> this is for you. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. All the vehicles are for sale. Well, I offered to buy a few. Yeah. And he said no. That's not true. You offered, oh, you, you offered the ones that you offered to buy. I, I was like, yeah, sure, go for them. You can have them. <laughs> He Actually, did give me one for free. So which one did I give you for the, free? The, the, the one beside the tow truck, you were like, you just take that. What was the one? The Daytona or whatever. Oh, that yeah, you could have yeah. <laughs> Well, that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I am headed straight back to the hotel to go to sleep, and we're gonna try to drive this guy's old I-8 all the way back to Kansas Why is it this guy's, this guy's old I-8? Well, you know, just it's just funnier to say this guy's. So be, when something goes be, wrong. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That really, that's the whole goal is when it does break, everyone will remember that it's Rich's yeah, car that know, broke. You, have kids. you know what your son did? You, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the goal here. Yeah. Don't forget to head on over to shop watchjergo.com for cool shirts just like the one I'm wearing under this. And please like, share, subscribe, do whatever you want to do, and I will talk to you next time. We can't forget to mention this man has his own tow truck. So yes. he's really more <laughs> which, set which up. is also for sale. Oh. So whenever you're ready, you just let me know, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll talk offline again. That's, that's also for sale. Yeah.